Ninja, this one known as first agility dog for Sarah, first time at Crufts as well. And like so many here, absolute dream come true running on the green carpet that is a has been freshly laid for Crufts 2022. Good speed, good ability as well. This looks uh, just about the best so far. What about the weaves? It's very smartly through there. This keep if it keeps going like this, Eric the Labrador will be top of the pile in the end. Barking away round as well through the tunnel at the end. This is really good. Oh, little full 360. Don't worry about that. Still good enough to be a couple of seconds inside it. in Birmingham meeting some of the competitors in this year's Crufts. Right. Now, uh, the world's largest dog show, Crufts, is back for another year. It's no surprise that Dr. Scott was first on the train to Birmingham, so he could be there. Yeah, spending the day with beautiful pups. It's a tough job for oh, some, man. isn't it, Dr. Scott? Oh, it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Hello, Alison. Hello, the germs. I am here at the incredible Crufts. It's NEC Birmingham. Now, I don't know if any of you have caught the incredible highlights on Channel 4. It has been such an amazing show. There's so much to see and do. There's so many breeds. And it's not just about looks. It's also about skills and personality. And someone that knows all about that is Sarah with the very gorgeous Eric. Love the name. Eric the Labrador. Now, Sarah, you have just been in an agility. So, agility... Uh, Trials. So how did you go? Uh, we were second this morning in the jumping round. Congratulations! So, yeah, we had a nice, nice clear round. So we're happy because it puts in good stead for this afternoon's run and um, for the overall results. So yeah. Nice run this afternoon. It's a chance because I've got a little fluffy dog called Scully and she's uh, very athletic. But, uh, you know, what does it take to become an agility dog? Um, they've got to have a work ethic. If they want to work for you, then that's half the battle. But a lot of dedication, a lot of training. We train two nights a week, compete most weekends. We've travelled up and down the country, Scotland, Ireland, everywhere, um, chasing qualifiers. So it is a lot of time and hard work, but the bond and the strength that you have with your dog and the relationship that you get from it is worth a million pounds. Yeah, you obviously love him very much. Now, he's got a nickname, I hear. He is. He's Super Ginger Ninja. Super Ginger Ninja. And I hear that the first place winner, Debbie, um, he liked the look of. Maybe was, his eyes were turned for that moment that he needed to win. Maybe. Possibly. You know, there well, we go. You never know. It's It'll lovely. Work. You're finding, yeah, finding yeah. love here at Crofts. It's wonderful. Now, the amazing thing... At the moment, that is the best. Sarah Bowyer. Penultimate dog, Eric, five-year-old Labrador. Super Ginger Ninja, this one. First time at Crufts. An absolute dream for this combination to be on the green carpet. And that's a very smart start indeed from Eric the Labrador. Who, to my mind, looks the quickest that we have seen. And if he can keep the faults off the page, this could be the one. You never know. Have a look through the weaves. Good style, good action, good pace. The seesaw is fine as well. 23 and no faults. Looking good. Crash through the tunnel. That to be a sharp left-hander. Took it as well. Still good. Still good, this. Up and over the last couple. Very, very good indeed. 38 and clear. <laughs> well done, Eric. Brilliant. Number. And the winner of the large dog in the ABC agility round. Yes! Yes! So the overall meet. We will have some great action from the agility in the ABC task. Welcome to the second day of Crufts, day two of the greatest dog show in the world. Super Ginger Ninja, gonna be really fast this is.
faultless. That'll put the cat among the pigeons. Full 360, don't worry about that. Flying through the weeds. <laughs> Everybody enjoying it here at Croft.